What's up guys? I am back with another YouTube video. I know I've been really busy lately. I haven't really had time to make any YouTube videos. Um, this one isn't really going to be anything special. It's basically telling you guys how I upgraded from my 55 gallon to this 130 gallon. I will post some photos and other stuff. Um, I was on Craigslist one day and of course I've been wanting to get a tank that's over 100 gallons. and kept looking at all these tanks, you know, $800, $600, that's kind of ridiculous, and I found this one tank that was near, or in the area where I live, and um, it was $200, and it was listed as a 200 gallon tank. So of course I went online, looked up the measurements, wrote down measurements for a 200, a 130, and then um, 100 gallon just to verify the actual size when I get there. It came with a basic stand and the tank and a light, that's it. Um, it also came with like a filter and a bubble wand that didn't work. So we went there, checked it out. It wasn't 200 gallons, it ended up being a 130 gallon tank, which is fine, you know, it's still bigger than what I had at the time. And looked at it. The stand was really, really bad. It was an oak color, very dirty, lots of dust and stuff like that. So we got it home, we cleaned it, and we filled it up with water, to, of course, to test it. We're not gonna take something in the house and have water go everywhere. And when we were there at the person's house before we even bought the tank, we asked, oh, does it have any leaks or anything? No, it's fine. And we saw that up near this corner right here, the wood was starting to split. So we're like, okay, well, what happened? We see that you tried to repair something with silicone. And you can tell the silicone wasn't bonding with the glass because first it was the wrong type of silicone, I can tell. And you can tell that she just re-siliconed over silicone, which you can't do. And um, long story short, like I said, we got this thing home, put it up in the garage on a lift, filled it up as soon as it got just above halfway, probably about right about there, if you can see my fingers over here. It started running water out the sides just on the seams so bad. It wasn't fast, but it came out pretty, pretty decent. <laughs> so with that being said, sorry, let me just adjust the camera. With that being said, we of course had to get some buckets and dumped it out. I was so sad about this thing. Not only I was pissed because the lady I bought this from for $200 lied to me, but I called her as soon as this happened. I'm like, well, you know, it's not, it has a leak in it. And she would not answer her phone, of course, but looks just more drama. Anyway, so of course I'm over here being sad, thinking, oh God, we spent $200 on this tank and it's not working, it's not holding water. What the hell am I gonna do? And I remembered um, PetSmart had this Marine Land sealant, it's called. And it's the same stuff they use to make their aquariums. So the next day we went out there, got the Marine Land sealant stuff, and then we came back home and we had to scrape with a razor blade and some like rubbing alcohol. Scrape out all the old silicone, find where the actual holes were, pinpoint that. We had to like, take masking tape and the sealant and rub that on there. <sighs> I had to let that dry for 48 hours. We did another test on it for like after 48 hours and it held. We held it there for two hours and of course we weren't going to keep it there all day but just to verify it worked and everything it did. And then um, while it was still drying, you know, we kept it in the sun and stuff, we took the stand that I will put another photo right now. That's what it looked like before. And then um, what it looks like now, we had to sand all of it down, get like the, like the glossy finish off of it. And we spent a good day sanding that and even like the rim around the tank and stuff. And we spray painted that all black. We put some like handle knobs on the um, four doors of the tank. Um, we also painted the light 
and the back of the aquarium. I know some stores and some people use the aquarium backgrounds and I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on how to like paint the back of, a t of an aquarium and stuff. So we just did that, got some paint from Lowe's or Home Depot or something, did that and then once all that was done, we just played the waiting game with setting it up. We had to buy 322 pounds of sand. On top of that, that's just new sand that we had in there. We got the old sand from a 55 gallon, which I believe was about 100 plus pounds of sand. So there's a good amount of sand in here. Plus on top of that with the water decorations and, and filters and all this stuff, probably weighs between 1600 and 1800 pounds full. It's pretty crazy. Also when we were um, repairing the stand for the aquarium, we added some shelves in the bottom and we left enough room for the 10 gallon on the left side. So 10 gallons underneath here. Over here is some um, shelves with like aquarium food and other stuff like that. Um, the good thing I really love about this stand is it has doors. You can hide all your wiring, all of that stuff, so it's not just a huge mess. I still don't have a sump on this tank. Um, right now, if you guys can obviously see some of the um, hang on the back filters, there is a Marineland 350, a Aquaon 75-90, and a AquaClear 110. Um, I forget the exact GPH level of that. There is two heaters in there. There's one heater from Hong Kong, which is a 300 watt, and then a Marineland 300 watt heater. Um, I had to take out the um, other Hong Kong heater because that wasn't really working. I just stopped for some reason, replaced it, and that's it. Right now, there's two Bubble Wongs, um, 19 fish in here, one Placostomus, catfish, a loach. And the rest are all mixed African cichlids. Um, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you guys about this tank. When I was switching over the fish from the 55 gallon, I waited about a week when I did that. Um, I lost a couple fish during that process. Um, right now, they're still fighting internal parasites. I bought this um, sea chem stuff off of Dr. Foster and Smith. You put it in their food for internal parasites and other sort of infections for fish. Um, it is working. I've noticed one fish has it really bad, but they're slowly getting better. I can notice a difference. Um, the redfin borlea is becoming more dominant in the tank. Um, other than that, that's really it. You know, they're still sick, but they're getting better. Um, I did another dosage today and I have to recommend that stuff. I'll probably put a photo of it right now. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can update you guys on. You know, I've been off of YouTube for a while, been busy with school and other stuff. Um, I was sick. Um, right now it's Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Christmas. So I hope you guys have uh, really good holidays with your family. Enjoy that. Or whoever you may be spending Christmas Day with. Hope you guys have fun. Um, for all my new subscribers, you know, honestly, when I first started this channel, I didn't think it would get this big as it is now. Um, I never thought I would hear other people say my, my, my YouTube username with, like, Dolly VH and all of, like, the up there fish people in the community. I'm really happy to see that. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to me, watching my videos, for following me on Instagram all that. I really honestly do appreciate you guys. Um, when I first started, I was like freaking out over 148. Now it's up to 368 subscribers right now. I really didn't think anyone would get so interested in my YouTube channel when I first started this. I thought only a couple people would view it. For me, like still a lot of people. So I just want to take some time to say thank you guys for supporting me and helping me out with this and all that other fun stuff. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Um, if I sound a little bit 
different in this video. My throat is kind of sore, so that's why. Um, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much. Um, I know the story was kind of all over the place. It had its moments. Um, you guys know how I am with explaining stuff. I'm horrible at it. <laughs> but I figured I needed a new YouTube video that's up to date. Gave you guys some info on how I did it. Um, also on the 55 gallon, I do not have that set up at all. That's up in my garage with everything else. Uh, I might be getting rid of it. I'm not too sure. I know I'm not going to be setting it up. Um, as far as that goes, that's really it. Um, just dealing with internal parasites. They're eating New Life Spectrum. Red cichlid formula. Um, the Thera A+. Plus for immune systems and they also eat the spirulina pellets. That's it. That's their daily diet and I just mix all the new life spectrum together. Um, that's it you guys. I know it's more of an update than a story but just thought I should put it all out there for you. I'll do a quick zoom. Might be kind of blurry. But it's looking pretty clear. For some reason, at least to me, the um, like the sand and the tank overall is looking a bit yellow. Um, on camera, it looks perfect. The quality of it is still amazing. But as far as that goes, it looks a little bit yellowish. I'll try to get a side view right now. Here is the side view of the aquarium. So you can still see through it, but it's not what my standards are for my fish tanks. So that's just me. But other than that though, here's a better angle for you guys. Um, I noticed the firefish or dragon blood is getting more beaten up, but it's probably because of the redfin borlei. But all the fish are eating normal, they're healthy, other than being somewhat sick, they're fine. Um, that's really it. I also have to give a big thank you to my stepdad for actually helping me with this project. Um, if it really wasn't for him, I would probably wouldn't have gotten this tank. And if I was to, it would probably not be set up or looking nearly as good as what it looks like right now. So a big thank you for him. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys have a fun Christmas. Thanks, guys.